going on guys? I just want to intro you to this episode. I was not around while this stuff happened. Unfortunately, I was at a Formula Drift event, but I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. With this project, we're not trying to one up what we did with the Formula Supra. What I want to do with this great opportunity for Mobile One and Toyota is just build a phenomenal drift vehicle doing new processes, learning new things, and a new way of building a car for me, uh, which is gonna be all with computer-assisted design. So the first thing that we have to do in order to do that is get the vehicle digitized. So our homie Rob Parsons of Cage Kits and Bending Solutions flew out and he is going to be 3D scanning the entire body of the truck, the entire chassis on the truck, so that thing is fully digitized in the computer and then that can go to Kibbe Tech and they're gonna design the entire chassis for us before it then goes to production and gets all those files get sent back to Rob at his place in Utah and then he's able to put the chassis into production and bend all of the tube in the proper areas and the proper locations so that um, it then gets palleted up, shipped back to Kibbe Tech for assembly. So I'm stoked on uh, the process beginning and I hope you guys are too. Let's get into it. So Ryan uh, decided to leave us for the weekend and uh, left me here to scan the stout. Why are we scanning the stout? Well, I don't particularly like to pull a tape measure out if I don't have to, so we'd like to use technology to build a roll cage and build body panels for this vehicle. So basically while he's away, I'm gonna capture all this three-dimensional data with the Creeform GoScan Spark and take all that data home to work on it and design a roll cage design frame rails, uh, design body panels for how he wants it. You know, we can do a different rendering of the body and come up with a ton of different ideas before actually making a product. So that is the massive benefit from digitizing a vehicle uh, as well as you have data that you can replicate and create another product again and again if you want to or make a fine, small fine change if you don't like something without actually building it. So. Without further ado, we're going to jump in here, 3D scan the interior of the stout, which is step one in us developing a roll cage for it. We already went ahead and scanned the frame rails and the whole body of the vehicle. So once this is done, this will put it all together as one big file, and then we can kind of peel it apart in layers on the computer. So again, just makes everything a lot easier, and uh, uh, in my eyes, it's a lot more fun. So the Creeform uh, Ghost Scan Spark is what we call a structured white light 3D scanner. As you can see, there is a bunch of lines of white light that are projected onto the object that you're scanning. And that reflects back into five different cameras, triangulating and computing all the data and building a point cloud or a mesh of, uh, of the surface. Uh, as you can also see, we have positioning targets on the body and sheet metal, wherever it is. That just helps keep everything in alignment. We could, however, use this scanner and scan without targets, uh, but you won't get as accurate of data. So we just, we just put the targets on there no matter what, just to make sure that we're getting good accurate data and uh, it allows us to scan it faster and pick up where we left off. Like, if we stop scanning right here, I can come back up here and just start scanning again and it knows where we are. So, another really cool feature about uh, this system. Within 30 seconds or a minute, however long we've been scanning this, we have a good third of the vehicle scanned. So I had to jump over the other side, scan the roof and scan the floor over there make sure everything connects accurately with the targets and we're done. Then we just jump onto the computer and start designing the roll cage. So like typical design process and turnaround time for something like this, uh, as long as we have all the data, uh, I'll scan it, spend a couple hours cleaning it up, making it look good, bring it into SolidWorks and spend, I don't know, six to eight hours designing the roll cage, refining it, talking with the customer or, uh, or Ryan and seeing if this is what he likes. 
But that's the key point of this. We can tweak it ever so slightly in so many different spots without producing a part. So it's like you have so much more creativity for your design when uh, you're able to make so many changes and not have to have a physical object in front of you. So um, again, just massive benefit of it. And you can go direct to manufacturing after you have the design done. You don't have to make a prototype. You just know it's gonna fit. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We'll get a check mark from Ryan. He'll be like, yep, yeah, I love the cage. Let's build it. We'll run it on the two blazer cutter and then we'll run it on the CNC bender. Everything is all done digitally and with CNC equipment. So it comes out perfect every time. You can really scan really freaking fast with this thing. Just like that, you have, you know, that bit of information to work with. Obviously, we've got to fill in a few more spots, but beyond that, you can see how quick you can capture the model and start working with it really quickly. Yeah, so in here, these would be, these are the positioning targets that it's looking for. And when you're scanning, you'll see it, like pick these up, they'll turn green, and it'll tell you that you're referencing those as you're moving along. So uh, definitely a key thing to have to make things scan a little bit faster and a lot more accurately too. So yeah, this is the full interior of the Stout, ready to go. Um, got the headliner, A-pillars, D-pillars kind of thing. So what we'll end up doing is we'll bring this into SolidWorks as well as the frame rails. We don't need the whole body, like the exterior of the vehicle. So we'll just have the frame rails and the interior and we'll design the roll cage around that so that it drops through the sheet metal and then we'll have brackets that attach to the frame rails itself and to the body itself. So, uh, because with vehicles that have frame rails and not a unibody, you have to attach it to the structure somewhere because if you just do it to the cab itself and you roll over, sometimes the cab just wants to fall off. So, it'll, it'll just rip the bolts out. So, gotta keep it super safe. Um, but yeah, this took maybe an hour max to really scan. Uh, good, and then we spent, I don't know, about eight hours yesterday scanning the frame rails, the full body, the full cab on the outside, and the bed of the truck. So, 10 hours on this project, and we have all the data to work with now, and we can go design it at home, in the office. And so what I'll do is, um, with my company Cage Kits, we will design the cage, cut it, bend it, and ship it to Ryan basically on a pallet and he'll just put it together like Lego. And it saves a huge amount of time because roll cage fabrication is always a time, uh, time consuming process. You know, good 60 to 80 hours every time is spent messing around with bending tubes, fitting tubes, notching sheet metal and all that shit. So completely get rid of that and just get a cage on a pallet, <laughs> good to go. Like I said before, we are, what we're essentially doing for Ryan is we're designing a roll cage for this vehicle. And uh, that's what my company mainly does uh, at Cage Kits. So you can go to cagekits.com and see a slew of different vehicles that we already have roll cage kits for, most of which are FD spec and drifting spec, but we also have rally cages and road race cages. Uh, and we'll be getting into the drag racing stuff as well. So we're not just focusing on a single chassis. We're trying to do a ton of different cages for a ton of different vehicles. And if you go there, you'll see them all. As well as if you do need 3D scanning done, we can offer that too. If you're trying to develop aero packages for your race car or just need the data for something, suspension geometry or uh, um, Again, aerodynamic development and CFD testing. Uh, we can do all that too by uh, 3D scanning it. So hit me up if you need any of that stuff. You can check it out all for the Cage Kits stuff uh, on Instagram as Cage Kits, and then myself personally at Chair Slayer, as well as just send me an email off the website, uh, info at cagekits.org, or uh, send me a DM. I'm pretty good at responding to them as well. So uh, quick search online should be able to find you what you need to, but yeah, Cage Kids on Instagram and Share Slayer on Instagram.